Congrats on setting up your first sponge filter, but what's next? Do you need to clean this thing? How often does it need to be replaced? Keep watching as I answer your questions about how to keep your sponge filter working in tip-top shape. Hi, I'm Irene with Girl Talks Fish, here with practical advice on nanofish and planted aquariums. And I have entirely switched away from using hang on back filters and canister filters to, you guessed it, sponge filters. But after setting up my first sponge filter, I still had a lot of questions on what exactly do I need to do to keep this thing clean and maintain it so that my tank water won't get dirty and my fish stay healthy. So keep watching as I answer the four most frequently asked questions on sponge filter care. So question number one is, should I clean my sponge filter? The answer is yes. There's a few signs you can look for. So first of all, if you are listening to the bubbling sound and it's a lot quieter than normal, or visually you're looking at the bubbles and just not as many are floating up, it's a sign that your sponge filter is clogged. It's full of fish waste and detritus. And a lot of people think that filters are like these magical tools will suck in all the dirty water and then poof, it disappears. Uh, versus sponge filters are more like a garbage can. When it gets clogged full of trash or detritus, you need to clean that thing out and reset it. Another sign that it might be clogged up is if you actually see, you know, physical particles floating through the water. That's another sign your sponge needs cleaning. So the next obvious follow-up question is, how exactly do you clean a sponge filter? Well, if you watched my previous video on how to install one, you'll remember that it comes in several pieces, right? So you're gonna go ahead and just pop off the top portion of it. So this part with the airline tubing, uplift tube, the bullseye, and then you'll have an air stone connected here if you have one. That can all stay together and you're gonna leave that in the aquarium versus this section with the inside basket, the sponge, and the base can all come out of the aquarium. Now, some people like to lift the sponge filter out of the aquarium using like a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag so that when it comes out of the water, it doesn't like release all that dirty detritus back into it. I don't really care. I'm just like, ah, I'll siphon it up or the sponge filter will just re-collect uh, it once I put it back in. But what you're gonna do afterwards is you can remove the sponge part from the, the middle and then in some um, old tank water is what most people do. They'll go ahead and squeeze it um, so that all that brown gunk goes into the old tank water. And then if it's still brown, um, go ahead and empty out either the bag that you squeeze it out in or the bucket, get some more old tank water and keep wringing it out until that water is not, not that brown anymore. So it might take like two or three times, depending on how careful you want to be. Afterwards, you're going to go ahead and reassemble the whole thing, um, put it in the aquarium, and then you may need to squeeze the sponge a little bit to release some of the bubbles so that the sponge filter will sink appropriately to the bottom of the aquarium. So now let me address a controversial question, which is, can I clean my sponge filter in tap water? So I watched a really good video by Jason from Primetime Aquatics, which I'll link in the card and in the description below. But basically he has a huge fish room with tons and tons of aquariums, and he has been washing his sponge filters in tap water with chlorine in it um, for many, many years and has never had any problems with the chlorine and the tap water killing the beneficial bacteria that lives in the sponge filter. So he doesn't get cloudy water, no bacterial blooms, anything like that. Um, so I did a little testing myself. I obviously don't have as many aquariums and here's what I found out. So Jason cleans his sponge filters every single week uh, whenever he does tank maintenance. What happened was when I had a sponge filter, which hadn't been cleaned in months, I know, I know, terrible. And I cleaned it under tap water quite vigorously until the water was running clear. I definitely got a bacterial bloom. So I would say if you have not cleaned your sponge filter in like half a year or more, go ahead and play it safe and use old tank water to wring out and clean the detritus from the sponge. However, if you are doing week weekly or even monthly maintenance on your sponge filter, it seems to be perfectly fine and safe to use tap water, even with chlorine and chloramine in it. Um, I did a, another experiment again, went ahead and used tap water. And again, when I did regular maintenance on this thing, which I should be, it didn't have any effect. I measured the water parameters. I looked visually, no bacterial blooms. You're good to go. 
So the final question is, how often should I be replacing this thing? Answer is probably never. I mean, obviously it depends. If you have larger fish or turtles or something that's like really taking chunks out of it, for sure, you know, you're gonna have to replace it. But if you have nano fish like me or even shrimp that kind of clean it, but very, very gently, this thing is gonna last forever, honestly. I will say that I prefer to use sponge filters that have like a coarser porosity, like the holes in the sponge are bigger versus the really, really fine ones that seem like almost like a solid piece of foam because the ones with fine porosity get clogged up super fast where I have to clean them all the time versus the one with the big pores in it don't get clogged up as quickly and I feel like they can go a little bit longer and are a little more forgiving when it comes to maintenance. If you haven't seen it already, I have a tutorial on how to install a sponge filter with three bonus tips, as well as another helpful video on how to slow the flow of your filter if you have super delicate nanofish like me. Take time to enjoy your aquariums, and I'll see you in the next video.